Hello, and welcome to the Scholarly Communications video series from the Himmelfarb Library. My name is Stacy Brody. I am a reference and instruction librarian at Himmelfarb, and today I want to talk briefly to you about the Contributor Roles Taxonomy, or credit. So let's get started. We all know that determining author order on a publication can be quite contentious. However, clearly defined contributor roles, including and expanding on roles typically included in author lists, can reduce the potential for disputes and provide clarity in writing and publishing. Using the contributor roles taxonomy, or credit, recognizes the diverse skills of individuals involved across project stages. Credit makes more visible work that may have previously been hidden in acknowledgement sections. Credit, or the Contributor Roles Taxonomy, recognizes 14 typical roles represented in conducting, writing, and publishing scientific research. These 14 roles include conceptualizing, administering, and supervising the project, securing funding and providing additional resources, planning out the methods, and conducting the investigation. Roles also include programming or software development, curating, analyzing, and visualizing data, validating and verifying research outputs, and writing and editing the final manuscript. For a full description of roles, see credit.niso.org. Authors are increasingly required or requested to indicate their contributor roles when submitting articles to journals and publishers. Increasingly, journals use credit. So these journals include BMJ, Cell Press, Elsevier, F1000 Research, the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery, Lippincott, Williams and Wilkins, and the Public Library of Science. For a full list of journals, publishers, and other platforms, see credit.niso.org slash adopters. Authors can use credit to list their contributor roles on publications, they can also identify collaborators from previously published research. So by looking at the list of contributor roles, you can find collaborators with unique skills like data visualization or software management. So thank you for taking the time to listen to Give Credit and learn a little bit more about the contributor roles taxonomy. If you enjoyed this tutorial, visit our video library where you can also find the associated slides. If you have specific questions about the material covered in this session or questions specific to your own research, please reach out to sbrody98 at gwu.edu. And on behalf of the Himmelfarb Library Scholarly Communications team, thank you for listening.